Thank you, Larry. Dave, a beautiful morning for that donor dash, but boy, we need some rain here. Oh, we certainly do. Yeah, some areas got some rain yesterday. Uh, today, it's just not coming into town. Take a look. This is our mousetrap camera. You see some thunderstorms down south trying to build up, but blue skies overhead and a real warm day still going on. There are some storms out there. Take a look. Some of uh, them are firing up right along the Continental Divide, east of the Continental Divide here, with some pretty good thunderstorms uh, from Larimer County all the way down to the top of Park County around Como down here. Uh, they are seeing some rain there. That's good. They had a fire, uh, if you remember, uh, last month uh, just near that Como area. So it's good to see that there. And then we've got bigger rains down south in the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Flood advisories are going on in Chafee County and also in Custer and Fremont County, mainly for some of the burn scars down there. But they saw some big thunderstorms rumble through there earlier. Those storms now are marching their way down the spine of the Sangre de Cristos down to southern sections of Colorado. And we had a severe thunderstorm warning just expired at 515, but these are still some big thunderstorms around Kim out here in uh, sections of uh, Los Animas County. Those still can have some hail in them, quarter size hail and up to 60 mile an hour winds. Meantime, with all the sunshine around Denver, we warmed up to 86 degrees at the airport. Same thing downtown, below normal for this time of year. Normal highs about 90. I don't know if that makes you feel better. It's still pretty hot uh, in my book. 54 and 57 were our morning lows and out there right now, uh, oh, we've warmed up to 87 downtown and an east wind at 11 miles per hour. 28% relative humidity. So the future cast uh, forecast for tomorrow. Now there's our little disturbance that brought the rain to eastern Colorado uh, yesterday. That's starting to push out. High pressure is going to kind of just spread out across the nation's midsection here. Despite this little weak cold front going through Wyoming, we're still going to heat up in a lot of locations. Look at this in the southwest, triple digits and 90s all the way up to Salt Lake City. And you can see uh, 90 degree temperatures all up and down the midsection of the country here. And Denver will be included in that heat as well. So the thunderstorms tonight will wind on out of here. Tomorrow morning will be mostly clear across the state. Now there will be a few isolated thunderstorms in the mountains tomorrow afternoon popping up to the north. So we'll put about a 10% chance of thunderstorms from Denver up to Cheyenne and out over the northeastern plains for tomorrow. Overnight lows tonight will be mostly in the 50s and 60s at the lower elevations, 50s in the mountains and highs tomorrow will start heating up. More 90s here in the east. 90s of course stay in the west and the mountain temperatures will beef up a little bit too, mostly 80s up there in the high country. So mostly clear tonight near 60 for the overnight low. And for, unfortunately, we do have poor air quality out there. That's going to continue 94 for the official high tomorrow with just that slight chance of a late day storm. And then looking ahead, mid 90s all the way through Thursday and just a slight chance each afternoon of thunderstorms. Once we get to Thursday and Friday, though, Tom, our chances for actually seeing some rain from some of those thunderstorms will go up a little bit. Friday right now looks pretty good for some late day rain. You're going to have to do better than that, Dave. I'm trying, <laughs> man. we got to get more raindrops yeah. in that picture, don't Def we? Definitely do. Crackle oh, yeah. sprinklers. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dave. You Up next in sports, Rock.